Hello everybody, I am Nico D and this is the Kados Edge 2 and it is running ARM in Jammy with the GNOME desktop. So this is running from the USB, so with the USB stick. This isn't an official ARM in image, it is user built by Bobs150. He supports a lot of boards and the Kados Edge 2 now also is one of them. So here is NeoFetch. So as you see, it is the Kados H2, it is running on kernel 5.10.110 media. So this is the Bob 150 kernel branch. So I am running this on the Kados H2 Pro. I'm still not used to seeing 16 gigabytes of memory. It is really awesome. And here you can see all 8 cores. So where to find this image? So we go to the Armbian forum, there we go to reviews. And there we see the video comparison of RK3588 boards. And here we've got a link of a version for the Kados H2. And we go to the index. So this is to run on USB. Do not install it to EMMC. You will not be able to boot from USB if you install it to EMMC. But check that RK3588 comparison thread. There is a fix for it over there. So the image I've downloaded is this one. So Armbin Jammy Legacy GNOME Desktop. So this comes without GPU drivers. So you have to install the GPU driver yourself. So you can choose between the blob driver. So that is the closed source rock chip driver. Or you can use the pan fork driver. I am using the pan fork driver. For some reason I can't get much to work with the blob driver while everything works with the pan fork driver. I must be doing something wrong because others say they can make it work. So for gaming I've used Armbian Gaming to install Box86, Box64, Wine x86 and PPSSPP. You now can install Box86 and Box64 from the repo. But Wine didn't work with it for me. So when I build it with Armbin Gaming then Wine did work. No idea what the problem is. So it is you can run Windows games, Windows applications, x86 Linux applications and games. And with PPSSPP you can of course emulate PlayStation Portable games. So with this I've got everything I need for a desktop. So my main desktop for now is the Mikotronics R58X4G. It also has got the same Armbian installation with the GNOME desktop, Box86, Box64 and Wine and lots of games. The last weeks I've barely turned on my PC, only for video editing I turn on my PC. But even that I could do on the RK3588. So here is Track Mania Nations Forever, a really awesome Windows game and this runs pretty well. So this is really nice to see that the RK3588 can do that. This isn't a 20 year old Windows game, this is more recent. It doesn't run that great, you can't run it on 1080p but on 720p it does run pretty well. So I'm not gonna make this video any longer. All I wanted to say is you can now use Armbian on your Kados H2 over USB. That is something that I really like. One problem is you have to have Ubuntu installed on the EMMC to run Armbian on USB. It doesn't work when Android is installed on the EMMC. That's a pity. I would love to have Android installed and Armbian on the same system. Also when you have other USB drives plugged in. It will not always boot from the USB. This has to do with the order of USB devices. So that's it for today. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Good work Bobs. It is awesome to use Armbian on the Kados H2 Pro. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Bye.